Good morning, everyone. I'm Steve Lentini, and uh, I am the president and CEO of Lord and Lentini Training for Life and uh, Steve Lentini Sales Leadership. And so I am also the author of Sales Success for the Rookie, How to Succeed at Sales Right from the Start, and it's published by Motivational Press. It's available on Amazon. They're a great publisher, by the way. If you want to publish a book, call me. I'll help you get through the process. I'll introduce you to Justin Sachs, who is the publisher and author of this book with 29 other authors, including me. I'm a contributing author. Imagine 30 Days to a New You. Page 222 is my chapter, and I talk about when you change your thinking. When you change, things change. And Justin Sachs, here's Justin. I'm glad to introduce you to him. He's also publishing a new book uh, shortly called Lightning Success, Su Success Strategies for Today's Leaders. I am also a contributing author in that chapter, and I'm talking about culture and for leaders, urging leaders to manage their cultures. And uh, I'm the self-published author of Wake Up, Jump Into Your Life, and this is Life Training. I'm also the self-published author of Sales Success for the Spiritual-Minded Salesperson, How to Sell Without Losing Your Soul, and Sales Success for the Seasoned Veteran, How to Stay at Peak Performance. Okay, so today I'm here to talk about what are you believing for? Who's the thinker of your thoughts? And think big. Okay. So I've been coaching and working with salespeople and working as a salesperson for 40 years. As a salesperson and leading salespeople on the street selling business to business products for uh, 30 of those years at least. And, uh, and then the other 10, 12 years has been in sales training and coaching. I owned the license to the Sandler Sales Training Institute for five and a half, six years, and then I also have written my own program starting in, I started writing in 2003, and in 2005, I went public with it and teaching it, started conducting classes in my own work called Universal Sales Training. And I bring in the ideas, bigger ideas, and one of the ideas I bring in is, who's the thinker of your thoughts, and what are you believing for? So I meet a lot of salespeople who have self-limiting language, which tells me they have self-limiting thoughts, and that they don't realize they're the thinker of their thought, that they are the thinker of their thoughts. So it's our job as salespeople and business people and most successful people know this, although it's a journey, there's days where their thoughts dominate them. Our job, though, as uh, creatures of unlimited power is to dominate our thinking, not to believe your thinking. So um, many of us have small-minded thinking. This is the acorn, right? It may think it's complete. We don't know if these things have consciousness, but everything, everything contain, is contained within this acorn to make it an oak tree. Not everything will become an oak tree. Not every one of these acorns will become an oak tree. And so it's the same for people. We are self-limiting. We have small-minded thinking sometimes. And when we believe them, we limit ourselves. And I hear it in salespeople's language. So here's your job is to start looking at, be, develop a level of thinking. Start looking at your thoughts. What's your default pattern? If you're in a flat period, a stuck period, you're feeling stuck, that's you creating that. You are being dominated by your thoughts instead of you dominating your thinking. That's your job. A great book to help you in that study is my Wake Up, Jump Into Your Life book, or, uh, for example, Are You Ready to Succeed is one by Dr. Sri Kumar Rao. He talks about that. And he also talks about the power of thinking because he, what he studied over time is that what you focus on increases. It's the law of attraction. So we have power, like, like gravity is unseen. It holds us here, we trust it. We cannot see gravity itself. We can see it working. It's the same with the law of attraction and the law of focus. There are laws that are always operating that we cannot see but they're working. You have to prove those other laws to yourselves. Who's the thinker of your thoughts? Start to ask yourself that, especially when you notice a self-limiting thought. There's no one that I've met that's higher than anyone else or lesser than anyone else. We're all the same. We just have different roles in this play called life, this wonderful game of life, as Florence Scovel Shin wrote about. Helen Wilmans in 1899 wrote about the power of thinking. Charles Hanel, The Master Key System. You can read Ralph Waldo Emerson. You can read James Allen. You can read 
Elizabeth Seton, you can read um, Catherine Ponder, Florence Scovel Shin. There's so many different people. The Kabbalah talks about cause and effect. We are creating our world. So it doesn't matter what are some of the reasons that we create these things. There are reasons, but that's a, that's a, a, a lesson for another day. And it's, it's the kind of things I work on in, in my classroom and with my clients that we're creating cause and effect. Everything I do has, every cause has an effect. And when I change, things change. So I have power. And so what I encourage my salespeople to do is notice your thinking first of all, right? What are you believing for? Think, and then who's the thinker of the thought? Now you start to dot, you say I am, and you start to dominate your thinking. Where are you going? Keep your thinking pointed in that direction and think big, why not? Have some fun with it. All right, any questions, you call me. I can work with you on it. 917-805-1088 is my phone number. 917-805-1088. If you want to email me, you can email me at steve, steve at stevelentini.com. Put a dot com on Steve Lentini. Steve at stevelentini.com. Go on to uh, Amazon and order my book or get my CDs. And uh, I have a lot of the same ideas in my books. All right. Thank you for spending time with me today.